So look, bro. Another reaction video. I hope everybody all right. I haven't made up my mind if this was gonna be a Yande video or a Today video. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why I say today because um today was my first time going to a wedding. I just got back probably like 15 minutes ago, right? And I do not see what's the point, bro. The whole time I'm evaluating the wedding, I'm just thinking like, bro, this entertainment really for us. You know what I'm saying? If it was up to the dude, they'd get married in the room or the bathroom. We don't care. But when you do get married, bro, and a guy pay for the wedding or the granddad, whoever pay for the wedding, they doing all that for everybody that's there. Y'all, like, we get to sit at the nice tables. Eat the nice food. Go up there for seconds while you back there stressed out, still trying to try on your dress. Looking in the audience, seeing who ain't supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? Weddings to me is a waste of money. I don't care what nobody. <laughs> I'm like, how much they spent on this? They spent fifty three thousand dollars on this wedding. Where, <laughs> bro? Don't keep it in one hundred, cause everything up in there looked basic. It didn't even have a real walkway. It just had like flowers on the grass and like walk right here. And then the pastor kept stuttering. Like if I'm paying fifty three thousand, my pastor not finna stutter, bro. I didn't even get that shit. You know how when somebody stutter, you do this. Waiting for it with them, like to get that, get that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that was that. I'm finna get to this video. Oh, yeah, where my phone at? My last video that I did with old girl, it's the title, like, oh, she responded to her baby daddy or something like that, right? In the last three videos, I've been giving out $100 for the first comment. Some dude named Karma One, y'all can go back to the video with his top. Top comment, y'all can go see right there, bro. So I'm like, boom, drop your cash app. He dropped his cash app. I shot it to him, right? He gonna hit back 30 seconds later and like, no, I ain't get it, bro. And he up in the comments telling everybody that's cap, I never got it, wooty woo woo. I'm not finna argue with y'all back and forth. I have no reason at all to lie about it. You know what I'm saying? If you comment it, you get the bread, period. With then he gonna say, hey, well, uh, my sister probably got it. She ain't give it to me. Can you give me proof? And I said, sure. Go back to his cash app. His name is Car. I mean, go back to that other page. I mean, dang, what is, is it this? Go back to the other video I dropped, bro. Go to the top comments. It say, baby mama viral something. It's the last video on the page. Karma dropped his cash app, right? He said he won't prove. Look at this. Let me get over here to make sure y'all see it all the way. I can't even see through the. Do y'all see where it say T Gary for a hundred? And it say for YouTube, T Gary for a hundred, right? Go to the cash. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back again. Let me click on a day so y'all be like, go see it today. Bro, that is. That say Sunday. And we be doing Yande videos, right? So I gotta go to the little like calendar or whatever real quick. Because, um, you know how they're going to be like, well, goes. You been sent there. We got the calendar on my phone. What that say? Wednesday the 6th, bro. Look at the little dot. Wednesday the 6th. You can't finesse a finesse, bro. You got the money. You try to mess it up for everybody else. But it's not going to happen. Karma use a buster. And um, congratulations to the winner today. Tomorrow, and from now on. Listen to me, tomorrow and from now on. I'm only giving it. Well, I'm trying to sign it at the same time. I'm only giving it to the 29th comment, you know what I'm saying? Y'all always want to be like, my Wi-Fi at that first. How you get it? Woo -woo -woo. Well, look, the 29th comment, until I stop it, that's what we finna do. 29th comment, get the bread. Get up to this video, though. Karma use a buster. Hello? 
Is that somebody saying you're going to kill my mom? Hold on. If you watching it, why are you screaming and not trying to stop it? Because it sounds like she said somebody trying to kill me. You're going to... Wow, she's seeing it. Why are you on the phone? If this is not a little girl that's under 10 years old, I'm hot. She's vividly watching. Oh, my God. Jake the Snake. Good looking, bro. Yo, her daughter? She stayed on the phone, 13-year-old Megan. Is 13 years old too, help, too young to help? I know some of y'all going to say, well, she would have turned on her if she tried to help her. Is it too young to say, I don't care if I get hurt, I need to help my mom, or do you back off of that? Y'all let me know in the comments, because at 13, bro, yeah, she ain't paying no attention to me while she doing that to my mom, so I would have ran in the kitchen, got one, and did it to her. You know what I'm saying? Why she was... Where is your sister? Oh my God, I feel out of my stomach, bro. She was doing that right in front of that girl. And she doing that right in front of that girl. You could tell, tell by the tone of her voice that it, it wasn't normal. 18 years old. Demon. And then it said that was the foster daughter. Some of our comments, some of the comments I say be frowned upon, you know what I'm saying? And this might be the one. I ain't never willingly taking care of nobody else's kids. I'm not finna, when it come to family, something tragic happened, then that's cool. But I'm not finna just be at the house board like, I want a baby and go adopt it. Can you all know what that kid been through? What kind of bloodline he got? It's a lot of bad traits that's, a, um, that's hereditary. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of bad traits that's hereditary. And they pass it on to the kids. She looked like a straight demon. And she did that to her foster mom. Oops. Sabrina has a 12 inch Whoa. red knife that she is holding in her right hand. She's covered in blood. I can see blood on the blade. I can see blood on her. Immediately, we started screaming to drop the knife. It almost like snapped her out of Whoa. whatever she was in. Back to some She did her mom with scaling. I kept away from her and we put her down on the floor. It was a very tense. I would have shot her. Take to the hospital, treat her hammer. The suspect, Sabrina Zunich, she was a 18-year-old foster child of Lisa Canaveral. Also inside the house was... How long was she Maggie living there? And Haley Canaveral. Look at that. 13. Look at that walkway. How long was that girl living there? You know what I'm saying? And I think after they turned 18, the foster thing should be up. And the mama was probably real cool to let her stay there. Probably really felt like that was her daughter. You don't adopt 18 year olds. I think it's impossible. You can't do that. They grown already. She had it for a few years. And I wonder is the little girl the real mom or the, I mean, the real daughter? I don't know, bro. This is scandalous. It's scandalous that she's just watching it, bro. Haley being three years old. The father, Kevin, was away on a trip. He was a truck driver, and he was in Michigan at that point. Sabrina was in foster care for many years. Now nobody cared about her backstory. That's the first mistake right there, bro. Why are they adopting a 17-year-old? It clearly says Sabrina joined the family when she was 17 years old. For real? That's a grown woman. That's a real grown woman. You grown at 15 in certain cities and states, you know what I'm saying? Not to the state legally. I'm just talking about you been up in the streets, you been out, you know what shit is about. They adopted a 17 year old, bro. For her to do that in one year, she been like that before she got to the house and the system didn't even catch it. She been like that, bro. She did not become a murderer in one year. I don't, I don't believe that. Demon. Demon. Sabrina landing with the Knafels 
really represented a fresh start for her. She went from a troubled home with their biological father and grandma to a youth shelter where she did not want to be. She so don't out. know where she came from. That's She's just... doing great at school. She's not getting in trouble. Things seem to be looking out for her. I couldn't find anything indicating something like this could happen. Demon, boy. Build a business that can scale beyond you. Make a playbook and train your team with training. Yeah, you remember me, right? Ten hours after the murder, Sabrina has relief from the hospital in the police custody of Penn and Georgia. Uh oh, she about to she about to describe everything that's going on. She about to describe everything that's going on. Cause it's not like you say you couldn't do this, so I hope she just don't try to play a psych little get out. You know what I'm saying? Don't adopt no kids. And to everybody that got them right now, I kind of apologize for saying that. Because I know it's a grip of them out there that really need homes and they really need, you know what I'm saying? But as far as me, bro, I'm not taking care of nobody. I'm not finna go out there and look for somebody else's kid to take care of. And half of y'all be doing it for the checks anyway. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> you probably got like nine of them kids up in your house. You don't love all nine of them, but... You get nine checks a month, so you gotta act like you love all nine of them. You know what I'm saying? Fake. Even the foster kids that's watching this right now, they already know that they foster parents don't really. They know they just a check. Yeah, I know, son. They know they just a check, bro. That's why they be stealing out your purse and running away and doing all that. But they do it just for checks, man. Our main goal when we first interviewed Sabrina was to get Sabrina to tell us exactly what happened. We caught her coming out of the room, so we knew she did it. We wanted to know why. What, uh, what do you recall? Yesterday? Mm-hmm. Yes, and dummy. I my homework? I don't know. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Don't try to play the oh, crazy role. And we're at home? Mm-hmm. Would anything unusual happen? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I get along with Kevin. The crazy thing, that's why I be saying ghost for president. The crazy thing about it, about this whole thing is, even though they know she did it, they got her fingerprints on that night. They seen her walk out the room. They seen it with their own eyes, right? You still have to get her in an interrogation room for her to admit it, just so it could be an up and, um, open and shut case when they go to trial. Just so it could be up and up. Why do I keep saying up and it's open? But just for it to be an open and shut case, bro, they need to, um, they need for her to admit this shit. Goes for president, bro. So when I seen her up there with a knife, shoot her. She cool. She's cold now. She's done. Like, I don't know why people that be doing these horrendous crimes still get to eat in jail. This this is the thing about jail, bro. If you was to smoke somebody right now, they done for the rest of their life. They never, ever, ever, ever coming back. They family gonna grieve forever when they come to Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, all these birthdays, they forever, right? The person that did it, the person that did it, he get to go to prison seven, six times out of ten. He gonna get life for the rest of his life and never get out. But other than that, even if he do get life, he still get people to come visit him. He still get to eat every day. He's still doing drugs up in there. If he get married, he still get like conjugal visits. Still get to see his homies. He's still breathing, bro. Goes for president. If you do something horrendous like this for no reason. Wow, fire squad them too. Not even lying. Not even lying. Like you this is this is the person that took care of you, bro. I can understand if it was some random fight up in the street and you did it, but you do this to your mom, bro. Why is she still man, come on. That was a miracle. I mean, she might as well have helped me out. Because this is Megan to deal with. And so 
we made agreement a long time ago that if I need anything, that I go to Kevin. How about, well, with Lisa, how do you feel about her? Me and Lisa have never been the best. She's never seemed to like me, and she's been wanting me out of the house. Switch gears, yes sir. If she been wanting you out of the house, she wouldn't have adopted you, bro. I hope she is not about to say she's sleeping with the dad. Cause that just hit me right there. She vividly said, she don't like me. She been wanting me out the house. She didn't say, she didn't say they. And what just hit me again in the last second, she probably killed her mom because she really thinks she in a relationship with the dad. And what just hit me again, that's why the dad probably went on this little road trip so the little girl could... Am I thinking too? Oh, well, this is my channel, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I swear to did the old shit. I could be wrong. I could. But I could be right, bro. I be 50-50 on this thing, y'all. I'm not, I don't be cheating like y'all. Y'all see me fast forwarding vid videos and trying to see what happened next and nope. Nope. I'm, man, she was but smacking her pops. Lisa's not alive now. What? You had a surprise. You stabbed Lisa. I did. You stabbed her. And then you called the police. Why did they give me trouble? It is. I'm sorry. You just said she didn't want you out the house, so you already know that she didn't like you. Yes, sir. Sorry. I don't believe this. Nobody else is hurt. Nobody else is hurt. Thank goodness. Sabrina never denies committing the murder. She just acts confused when I tell her that she's the one who killed Lisa Knafel. We could have waited here for four days, and we were probably going to get the same answer from her. We made the decision that we're just going to cut this down because she's not going to give us anything else that we need. We got a search one for that. I was hoping to find some text messages, some emails, some search history as to why this crime took place. Over the past several weeks, Kevin Knafel and Sabrina text messaged each other over 1,000 times. What I tell you? Don't advertise on Google. What I mean, you up here stewing all these, what I saw all these, I don't need no ads, bro. What I, I tell you? For my mom on my kids, I don't pre-watch my videos, best reactor on YouTube, nigga. I'm not lying, bro, it had to be something. Bop, 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 just kept bop, bop, detective ghosts in the building. Let me get it. I did. Did I have to go to the house and, 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 and obtain the computer, look at text messages, and see that they had a thousand text messages? I didn't have to do all that. Detective Ghost in the building. Damn, she's scandalous. He's father, scandalous. Foster daughter to have thousands of text messages. Yeah. The two of them. That's because the mom knew. That's why. That's because the mom knew. Kevin agrees to be interviewed. Yeah, come on. Come on, Kevin, bro. I feel confident that Kevin left for work at 8 p.m. the night before the murder, and he didn't get back into town until after Lisa's death. So we want to know from his perspective as to... Bro had his wife killed to live happily ever after with a 17-year-old. Ladies, watch yourself. I'm not finna have this talk with y'all today, but watch yourself, bro. It's no reason you should have a foster kid. I don't care who it is. A nanny, a cousin, a homegirl that's in between the age of 17 and 50 years old staying with you and your husband because something's going to happen. It's no reason your husband should want a 17-year-old to live with them unless you want to get her eye. Mm -hmm. Y'all be looking, y'all be loving niggas too much. Y'all be looking at the good in people all the time. You better stop that before you die. I'm telling you. Keep on looking at the, even though you see the signs, you want to ignore them. If it, keep on, bro. What you want? What, what, kind of, what kind of flowers you want in your casket? I learned a long time ago. I don't trust nobody. I ain't depending on nobody. I ain't do it. That's why with the, I, I don't know more. I don't know more. 
fucking last 13 years of my life been all me. If I'm homeless, oh well. If I get on, oh well. If I'm poor, rich, oh well. It's on. I, mm, I don't trust nobody, bro. You got your homies back during you. Your cousin setting you up. Your girl setting you up. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, not me. Not on duty. If there was any argument going on. Not on house, duty. Before you left. Then you told me you wanted to talk about his wife's work. Correct. Subject matter. Yeah. So. I told his lawyer that we would just talk about the work, but I was hoping that maybe he would open up and give us some insight as to um, why you were sleeping with the seven. What, mm. Why the reason that this happened? Kevin, do you know anything that was happening at the house the night before you left for work that night? Well, hang on a second. We just talked about talking about his wife's work. What's going on at the house tonight before it's not his wife's work? I know it's the law, right? I do. I know it's the law to go ahead and get you a lawyer when you need to, whatever. But if you lawyer up, if you lawyer up when the police come and talk to about you, ah, if you lawyer up when the police come and talk to you, you about your wife murder. Bro, that's suspicious as hell. Why are you bringing a lawyer to your, they, this your wife, like, what you wanna, you should have volunteered to go down there. I bet you he didn't wait till they called him, you know what I'm saying? Fire squad him too, goes for president, detective goes okay. in the building. Where's your wife work at? Tell me, tell me, children's What did she do there? She was a social worker for the um, children's section. She was a social worker trying to prevent the same person that lived with her, the Children's Abuse Unit. <laughs> and he's up in a house abusing children, bro. Now I want to know, is the 13-year-old adopted too, the one that was on the phone, or is that they real? Because y'all need to go talk to her. She can let you know a little bit more. Down. There was no uh, tears. And none of that. Um, there was no anger. Were you and uh, Lisa in the process of going through a divorce? Okay, now we're getting outside the uh, scope. Kevin Knafel was not willing to help the police in finding out exactly what happened. Now we're getting outside the why scope. Why not cooperating with us? And why is what your you lawyer have? answering for you? Yeah. I know I believe in the law and all, but that, that has something to do with it. Ooh, I'll be I think my dad's a major bank through still in custody. Sabrina agrees to talk to the pro. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The proffers the tell it all. First step uh, when the defense attorney, the prosecution. And the proffer, they said this before up in um, a video I was reacting to. And so I asked y'all, look, y'all be. I be learning stuff when I be watching these videos too. I don't know about y'all, but I make them and I react to them. Hopefully y'all can be aware and, and, and learn something, bro. The proffers tell it all. And I bet you she feel like she finna get a less sentence when she not. They just finna act cool with her, give her a sandwich, some Doritos and a soda cause she ain't had that in a while, you know what I'm saying? It's an Probably a cigarette. To be 100% complete honest and tell exactly what happened. It's a first step into a plea agreement. We cannot use this against her in court. Yeah. What we believe from conversations is that what led up to this homicide, to this murder, is that there was another party involved in planning that. Yes. Miss Kevin Knafel, my foster father. Psh, stupid. It was. What you thought the seventeen-year-old was going to be loyal? And it was talked about after we were having sexual relations, and. Him and Lisa were having problems in marriage. He wanted to get a divorce, but Haley, which is a three-year-old daughter of his and her, was in the picture, and he wanted full custody. Bro. She would get custody, or it would be shared, and he didn't want that happening. So the alternative was for this to happen. When was it after you started to live there on a daily basis? Three months. Relationship with Kevin Three changed? months. When did the sexual nature start to change? Um... It all started not with sex, but with massages because he was a truck driver and his legs would cramp, so it was inner thigh. Then it progressed Some neck. into sex. Some neck. Does he ever tell you, hey, you can't tell anybody about this? Of course, she's a minor. She's a minor. He go to jail. 
then you'd be taken out of my care and I could lose my foster parent license. What did you say in response to that? I would never do that. Okay. Tell on him. Uh, Sabrina. So do never mean I will, because what's she doing right now? I don't see how he trusted a 17-year-old to be loyal to him that he just met, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't. Stop ignoring the signs. To you women out there, just stop ignoring the signs. Because the sad thing about this is I know this video finna get up in the hundreds of thousands. And it's a lot of y'all that think y'all husband is A1. They be on a DL. Bro, your, your boyfriend, your fiance, you know it. You trying to ignore the signs. If you see, go with your gut. It ain't no reason, it ain't no reason that you should even think that your boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, like it. If you thinking it, you need to get away from him, bro. There's no reason this should even cross your mind. Right? There's no reason. Down low, dudes, that if you even think it, leave, because it's true. Y'all females, a woman intuition is crazy. A woman's intuition is crazy and y'all still be ignoring it. Y'all be y'all be moving like toddlers sometimes, bro. I'm telling you. And Kevin's relationship I think y'all be believing him when he said don't ain't nobody else gonna want you. The increasing Because you got kids. Yeah, right. I love you to death and your kids. Sabrina what you felt mean? that she wasn't welcome in the house anymore. So Kevin convinced Sabrina that if she did kill Lisa and did get caught that she would only do two to five years that he would protect her and that after she why because she was a minor either with her they would buy a house she got charged and as an adult on this one bro so have you talked to him no not on no money on my books no letters no calls no nothing of course he don't want to be attached no. to that that's when we learned that kevin helped plan this murder it was calculated and essentially, Kevin using Sabrina to get his wife out of the picture and to collect life insurance money. Well, I'm not just talking about that wedding I went to in the beginning. Yeah, that's why they say they uh, they fake and a waste of money. That's the reason why I said it. He did all that just to, in the future, get a 17-year-old foster kid to kill. You get what I'm saying? Everybody at the wedding all turned up. The, the, to death the worst part. Yeah, well, at least he kept that one straight. You know what I'm saying? It did do your part, but you did it. You don't say you you can do it. If you do it, then it's cool. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she had a life insurance policy. Seven hundred fifty. Sabrina's childhood, I believe, is probably the most important thing. To I don't want to hear about none of that. Why something like this could happen? I don't want to hear about none of that. Shouldn't Sabrina have never experienced a stable family, a loving household, the sense of security, the sense of belonging. So she found some dick. To to on some That's basically what it came to. You saying all is. And then she messing with her older dude. I don't care what nobody says. She know what's older. Usually 17 year olds think older dudes like that is nasty, but she went all into it like, Sabrina K. I forgot to hear with that little story. Did they, you see how they put the music behind it? Am I the little instrumental that the boom, verdict came boom. very quickly. Yeah, it should. The jury came up with a guilty verdict. I believe it took a matter of about two days. Yes, sir. Get that nigga the fuck up out of there.